Hi, my name's Nina. I'm 14 years old, and I'm the teen aboard sailboat Shawnigan, and I'm going to do a quick talk about what it's been like to be cruising for the past two years, so let's get started. Okay, so we left 2015 in August, and I had been going to school in a small town in Sausalito, if you guys know where that is, it's by San Francisco, at this small school where I knew everybody. And I had some really good friends. And when my parents told me, oh, we're going sailing, I looked at them and I was like, what? No, that doesn't make sense. No, no, that I have to leave my friends? That's not going to happen. So that they took me out of school halfway through sixth grade so I could get used to homeschooling. And let me tell you, I hated it. It was the worst experience I've ever had, I think. I was able to still hang out with my friends, but I wasn't in a school, so I was like the outcast, kind of, in a way. So when we left, um, there's a photo of the big group, and I was like, I had to keep my cool, because if I didn't, I'd be like, oh yeah, I'm leaving, I don't wanna leave. But I pretended to be all excited, but as soon as we left, I like broke down in tears, and I was like, I don't wanna leave. So we, um, it wasn't till Morro Bay when we met another cruising family that I kind of got used to the fact that we were sailing and I couldn't do anything about it. We were doing it and I couldn't say anything about it. There was this boat called Agmar. They had three kids. There was one that was like a year and a half younger than me and we got along really well. So I was like, yay, there's kids. I'm okay now, but I still don't like it. So we left later that year in November and we headed down Baja and my parents are the people that don't like to be near the crowd. They want to be secluded and I'm more of a people person. So I didn't like that. We didn't see kids, people really, except for the group that we were sailing with for an entire month. When we made Isa Isabella, I met my first boat kid. It was um, Katia off of Sarita and she in Isa Isabella and it was great. I was so happy. I was like, finally, there's a girl my age. That's cool. So we went to La Cruz and she introduced me to um, Kenta and, a and a bunch of the other kids. And I was like, yeah, this is fine. This is fun, but I still miss home. I want to be back home. No matter what, I wanted to be back home. I didn't want to be sailing still. So uh, we left to go down to Barra with another boat kid, a few boat kids, and I was like, oh, this is fun, I like this, this is awesome. And, but I still miss my friends back at home. So we um, had to go up to the States and it turned into a longer stay than we wanted it to be. It turned into like a four or five month stay. And my parents were gonna put me back in school and it was one of the most worst, it was the worst experience I've ever had. So when they put me back in school, um, I went to school for exactly three days before I chose, I don't want to go to school. My friends who I thought were my friends weren't my friends. They weren't nice. They had all changed and moved on and I was the, again, the outcast. And I don't like being the outcast. I don't think anybody does, but so when I went back and I was told that I wasn't gonna be accepted back in school by a girl and then I wasn't accepted back in the school because I wasn't fit for it. I was like, yeah, this isn't the school for me. I need to figure out some new people. So my parents um, enrolled me in a homeschooling group that we did hikes every Monday and Thursday and I found my group. I really actually liked it. I was like, these kids are more like cruising kids. But at the same time, I was like, we might have to move back. I don't wanna move back. I wanna continue sailing. I like sailing. So we were able, it was like November and it wasn't, a, yeah, it was like November when we went back and I was so happy to be back on the boat. I was so happy to be back cruising, even if there were no kids. I didn't realize how much that sailing was my life. I loved it. It was the greatest thing ever. So we made it down to the cruise and my dad got sick so we were stuck in the cruise at first i was like oh yeah we're stuck in the cruise yay there's kids everywhere and i was like that the entire time but i made some awesome friends uh there were just to name a few like kaylee pickles um 
Terrapin. And now it's my third year here. We're in La Cruz again. And I look around and I just see like what we did everywhere. Like when out in the amphitheater, we did the talent show and I was there for the second talent show, but I had to rehearse it. They did a dance for a really terrible song. <laughs> it's really great at the same time. And when I look at the pool, I see when we did the aquatic um, exercise thing my first year with, I was the only girl. That was really, actually really fun. And I was like, this is, this is what cruising is about. You, you gotta have fun wherever you are. Like, everywhere I go, I see what we did. Like, down in Barra, we hung out with the kids. We went swimming in the pool. We yelled random things. Um, when I see Kat, it's always awesome to talk about, like, what they're going to do this year. And I like giving ideas. Like, oh, well, me being a cruising kid, I know what other cruising... Or I think I know what other cruising kids like. But I think my favorite part about cruising is meeting the new people. I met like one of my best friends, Hannah, off of Empyrean, and she was an introvert. She did not like people, but I made her come and hang out with me. And she does claim that she hated me the first few weeks, and then she realized that, eh, I'm gonna have to hang out with her, I better get used to her. And now Hannah and I are like inseparable. Well, she's not here right now, but we're usually inseparable. Um, but the best part about cruising is you get to make new friends wherever you are you get to find you get to meet new people meet cool people you have to leave which that was the hardest part about cruising for me was leaving people i have always like gotten attached and i didn't want to leave i wanted to keep cruising with this one pe pers people persons and um so my parents are like me and you've got to learn to say your goodbyes but i learned later that it wasn't ever saying goodbye it was always saying see you later because you are going to see them later and i didn't exactly wrap my head around that the first year i was like bye it's nice meeting you we're never going to see each other again bye but i was actually talking to one of my friends and they know some of my friends from the first year and i was like oh okay so, I guess there is hope that I will meet them again. But, you always have to hope. You never know. But, I have to say that that's the hardest part. The greatest part about cruising is meeting the people. But the hardest is saying goodbye. But it's not saying goodbye. It's saying, see you later. Um, yeah. Being a cruising kid, you have to be really adaptable. You just have to adapt. If there's no kids around, you gotta hang out with the adults, which I have no problem. But my sister, who's 10 now, has kind of had that problem. She doesn't like hanging out with adults. She'd rather hang out with kids. Of course, any kid would. But you've gotta be adaptable. Wherever you are, you gotta adapt. Say I don't like, well, I, say you don't like swimming. Well, you live on the water. You have to learn to like swimming. Say you only wanna hang out with kids, but there's no kids around. You gotta go hang out with the adults. Otherwise, you're gonna be bored out of your mind. Um, so that's one of the greatest parts about being a cruising kid. You're just so adaptable. And when you go back into a school system, you're not like, uh, what do I do? You can adapt. So, yeah. And we went up to sea where we didn't see anybody. And my, I had to really, um, get to know my little brother, which was great. But throughout the year, we had met awesome kids. Like, we went surfing with Full Monty and Augustine, too, as you can see above, or at the photos. And we went to cool fairs with my friend Hannah. That's another photo. And the year before, we had to go up to San Carlos. And I, again, had to adapt to hang out with younger kids. And it wasn't as bad as I thought it was. But as soon as we met older kids, I was always happy. But I knew that I wasn't always going to see them. So, again, you have to be extremely adaptable. And that's one of the best part about cruising is you might not always get what you want, but you make do with what you have. And even if they're younger or older, you really just learn to get along with them. So I think that's one of my most favorite parts about being a cruising kid is that they're all pretty adaptable. 
and for the most part, they're all really, really nice. So, thank you for watching, and if you have any questions at all, um, feel free to ask, comment on my blog, which there will be a link below, and it'll also be on the screen in a second. So, I wish you guys all a great Women Who Sail, and we'll see you somewhere in the world. So, see you later. Bye!